activating your pineal gland with the last symbol pi. Pi is a quantum processor. A quantum processor can calculate all possibilities and go to the right one instantly without going through a lot of information first before it arrives at the right information like how a regular binary computer system works. Your left brain hemisphere has access to a zero and to a one because it can look horizontal and vertical as a square box. Your right brain hemisphere has access to a zero and a one and also a square box. When they work together, you have access to two square boxes that turn into a huge circle thanks to the shape and distance of your physical eyes. When your quantum computer is activated, you are inside the circle of the peace symbol looking outside. The light cannot escape because you are inside a black hole. The dark matter is the fabric that connects us. All is one. God is in the darkness and the darkness is inside of you. After all, you are looking outside. God is on the inside of your pineal gland. On the inside you will see what is the truth. When you see the truth, you will stop fighting me. When your brain's hemisphere work as one, you are in zero, zero, one, one mode. In other words, by four units of calculation and simultaneously instead of two. In simple words, the more you can use your brain simultaneously, the quicker you will arrive at the destiny you desire. To make you fully understand this information, I want to make you aware of the possibilities of binary code and how it calculates reality. You know a regular computer. Everybody has access to a computer, otherwise you wouldn't be listening to me right now. What a computer does, it has a chip, a processing unit. The computer can calculate 3,2 million zeros and ones a second. So if you want to fully understand how that works, you need to imagine that the color yellow, the binary code for the color yellow is probably something like 0010000111001100. That is for a computer yellow. Left and lowest pixel of the screen will mean something like 01010000000 etc. Combine the two and the computer will recognize that binary code as make a yellow dot on the left pixel, left lowest pixel of the screen. With binary code, ladies and gentlemen, you can imitate reality. Your video cameras, the stuff you see in the cinema, it looks pretty real and it's all built out of zeros and ones. So if a computer can create a reality with zeros and ones, Imagine what you can create with 0011. Now, to prove you that there is another dimension I'm talking about right now that is outside of your awareness, you need to activate your quantum processor. You can do that with two simple steps. A daily two minute method that keeps your left and right brain hemispheres and your pineal gland quantum processor in state of perfection. We need to understand how consciousness works and you see and you hear, you feel. Those are the three dimensions, P. Feel is P, see and hearing. So we need to make those three forms of consciousness working together to get that P. Have you ever heard about the Egyptian wall paintings? You will see a lot of wall paintings where the people suddenly start walking into the sky. You will see a 90 degree angle. And you always see the Ankh. Now, these Egyptian people were unbelievably smart. I have no idea what happened to them that they lost that intelligence. We human beings at this moment of time are still in binary mode. The Egyptians were at the quantum level. To 
prove this to you, I will show you what they did to reach that quantum level. For method one, you need to have an Ankh, and a pretty big one too. So you need to have a, a, a cross with a circle on it. It needs to be round and it needs to have a hole. But the best way is to do this with an Ankh, trust me on this. You hold the Ankh in your hand. And what you do, you close one eye, you look with the left eye to the Ankh. There is a space, the surroundings, the Ankh and what's inside the circle of the Ankh. What I want you to do is stare with one eye into that Ankh. Look inside the Ankh. Focus on what is inside the Ankh, the circle. You need to see what's inside and you have to make your mind sharp. You have to focus upon what you see. The moment you focused upon what you see on the inside of the Ankh, you focus on the outside of the Ankh. So you watch everywhere but not on the Ankh and also not in the Ankh. And you make that sharp. You focus upon that. When you succeeded at that, you will watch at the middle point, the Ankh. Keep watching that until you see both pictures sharp. When you're done with that, you do the same process with your other eye. So you watch inside, you focus. You watch the outside, you focus. And you watch in the border of the Ankh and you focus. The moment you succeed at this, your quantum processor is turned on. What you do then, you hold the Ankh, put it 90 degrees away from your eyes. And you hover it around a table. And you will see what I mean with that dimension. You stand straight. You hold the Ankh. Straight in front of your nose. You look at the middle of the Ankh with both eyes. You just trained them. You can look with the left eye and focus. And on the right eye and focus. And you focus with both eyes at the middle of the Ankh. You focus with both eyes on the border of the Ankh itself. And now you focus on the outside of the Ankh. Keep the focus on the Ankh itself. As slowly make a 90 degree turn with the Ankh downwards. You go with your hands to the front and downwards until you have the Ankh on a 90 degree in front of you. And you will see that other dimension. Move your hands to the right on the table, on the floor. You'll see it. Go up again. Go down. You will feel that. That is the 90 degrees the Egyptians are talking about. When you can see this, when you see that extra layer, your pineal gland, visual cortex is opened, it's on quantum level. What you need to accomplish is do this every day. The first time you do it, it's gonna take five minutes, maybe 10. The second time you do it, it's gonna take 30 seconds. The third time you do it, you do it in three seconds. This needs to become a habit. The moment you can just instantly do this without any effort, your pineal gland is in a state of perfection and your mind is at P. The second step, the auditory step, this is very key. Sound is time. A high pitch sounds faster than a low pitch. For your brain to run at quantum level, aka in timelessness, the left and right brain hemispheres need to work together in the audio cortex. A quality of the left brain is understanding of speech. The quality of the right brain is imagination. To make the audio cortex to function in P, one need to connect a frequency with a word. To remove time, we're working on a quantum level here, so we need to train the audio cortex to also work on a quantum level. This means you need to connect your imagination to a logical thing like understanding of words. So you connect imagination with word. Every time you do that, you go into a quantum level because you provide the solution to a problem instantly. So you hear a sound, you hear a word, you hear a frequency and you add a word to it instantly. That means you are on that quantum level. You solve your problems instantly. 
so you will hear a sound in the background and I will give you an idea of how this works you do not need to do it with your voice you can do it with your voice because it's great training you can learn how to sing by doing this but this is mainly to open your pineal gland and go into P you do that by simply this so listen to the sound And now you imagine the word OM to the sound. You don't hear the sound anymore, you hear OM. That's all you hear. OM. OM. I want to say the word AH to this sound. We don't hear a sound, we hear the word ah. So you hear ah to every tone and you, you train your mind to do it instantly. That's all you do. So next time you hear a tone, you imagine a word to it. And the quicker you can do this, the better. The next step is to do it with one ear. So you take headphones and you do it with one side of the brain. Only one ear. You focus, you close your eyes and only hear one side of the brain. And you go like... All right. When you can do this with both sides of the brain and simultaneously and you can instantly hear the word ah at any tone given so you play a song you like and you can just ah 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 and to, to the melody you can just ah to every melody instantly well, that is when you are in quantum mode so what you want to do is listen to music and Train the left side, train the right side by listening to only one side of the ear and then the only the other side of the ear and imagining the sound in your mind continuously. The more you do this, the easier it becomes, the quicker that thing gets turned on and then you are your own guru. You have your own quantum computer. Now we realize that this is a matrix and that this is a programming. There is another thing about the quantum computer. The quantum computer will make you do the right thing. That's one thing that for sure. But I still need to make a new video where I explain you the seven laws of the universe. Because your quantum computer can be steered with the seven laws of the universe. Not with logic. That doesn't steer the quantum computer. That steers your logical brain. But as we see, that's only one third of your capabilities. So stay tuned, do these practices until that quantum computer is turned on. And then I will teach you the seven laws of the universe and you can go anywhere, anywhere. You can experience any illusion you want because that's what it is. Enjoy it. <laughs>